With obviously, with, why do I keep saying obviously, bro? With obviously, oh my <laughs> gosh. MMO, FPS. It's a mouse. Do you like it? Just I, get it. Yeah. Tell your dad it's the best one. If you find a different one from Sadis that you like, just tell him that's the best one next month. Hey guys, welcome back. This week we're gonna take a look at the Sadez Axe RGB gaming mouse, uh, what's going on with Mixer, and the delays surrounding Cyberpunk 2077. My name's Matt, you're watching Sadez TV. So this week we're gonna take a look at the Sadez Axe RGB gaming mouse. Our biggest mouse yet with a 12 button configuration and even a custom firing button next to the left click. You can download the Sadez Axe software for access to full RGB customization and macros. Detachable weights for quicker response and balance as well as four buttons on the side specifically designed for MOBA, FPS and MMO players. So for example, say you're playing Warzone, you can set up these buttons with macros for callouts or pinging somebody across the map so you don't have to use the the scroll wheel which a lot of players let's be honest we can find that to be a pain in the ass Omron switches with over a 20 million click life cycle and an 18 month warranty from sadays.gg we can't forget the 12 rgb light cycles because you know that makes it go faster it's also got a nice braided cable with a gold plated usb plug the Axe is also compatible with Windows 7 through 10. On top of all those amazing specs, you're in luck. We're going to give one away for the month of July. Just stay tuned to all our social medias and our YouTube for your chance to win. The contest is going to be running from June 27th to July 25th, and there's no purchase necessary. So let's talk about what's happening on Mixer. We're not going to get too into the nitty gritty details or anything like that, but I am a streamer and a gamer, and so I figured I'd give you guys my perspective on the topic. First of all, and I think a lot of people share this sentiment, that came out of left field. I kind of knew that Mixer was going that direction with some of the other streaming platforms, but I had no idea that they were going to merge with Facebook Gaming. Uh, I'm I'm excited to see where that goes next, but I'm not really anticipating a lot, unfortunately. I think the real platform war here is held between Twitch and YouTube, and that's where we're gonna see the, I guess, the battle of the gladiators, so to speak. Back to Mixer, though. I think they pulled a really shady move by not letting the majority of their partners or even users know that this was gonna happen. I can understand that they'd want to keep it a big announcement for the release, but there are people on that platform that depend on that income to pay their bills, take care of their kids or their spouses, or even just themselves, that now are finding themselves out of a job. Some people that aren't able to go back to Twitch for various reasons and are looking for a new home and don't really want to start all over again on a platform like Facebook Gaming. At least not without a warning. I think it was pretty shady of Mixer to pull the rug out from under its creators like that, but like I said, from a business perspective, I can kind of understand. The big creators like Ninja or Shroud, they're going to be okay, but I had a feeling that they were almost waiting for an opportunity like this to get back to Twitch or at least they're bigger audiences. As a streamer, no matter how much money I'm making off a stream, it always comes back to my personal success and how entertaining I feel like I was being. Having their average numbers cut like that couldn't have done well for the creative process or even their own self-esteem when looking at their numbers at the end of the day and seeing how their streams were panning out. I'm sure they're going to be more than happy to get back to their much bigger crowds on the previous platform they were on, Twitch.tv. So again, it'll be pretty interesting to see where this new merger between Mixer and Facebook Gaming takes the streaming industry as a whole. It'll be interesting to see if there's new bidding wars between Twitch and YouTube and Facebook Gaming to get some more streamers on their side and try and flex who's the next biggest, best platform for you to put your content on. So if you're at all invested in the release of Cyberpunk 2077, then you're probably a little disappointed that it got delayed, but hopefully in this episode, 
I can sway you and give you some reasons as to why this delay is a-okay. So arguably one of the most important and hyped up, impactful, however you want to spin it, games of this console's generational cycle. It's really good that they're taking delays. We saw with No Man's Sky what can happen when a title is hyped up too much and then just doesn't meet that quota. And trust me, if you're excited for Cyberpunk, that's not something you want to see with this title. Now, I do have to say, No Man's Sky, we covered it last week, a huge update that came out with it, and there's been plenty of updates since their release. So, let's not pile on No Man's Sky. Those guys got back to work and developed an amazing title. So if you're a console player, this new release date actually falls in line with the PS5 and the Xbox Series X release date. That brings ray tracing into the conversation, and if you've seen anything on ray tracing, that's a reason to delay this game all in itself. It'll, it'll really up the graphics and up the immersion. So if you needed a reason to upgrade your PC experience for all those PC gamers out there, you've kind of been given some time to do so now. Looking into those 20 series cards and dipping into that RTX is now well within reach. You have the time to save up to do so and make this game the experience that you really, really want it to be. The last point I'm gonna make is about release times. There's nothing worse than a bunch of awesome titles being released all at the same time and not having enough time to play them all or one group of your friends being on one title while another group being on another title and you can't decide which one to play. By pushing Cyberpunk back, this gives us some time to focus on some other really, really awesome releases and then give Cyberpunk its own kind of slot in our schedule to focus on and appreciate. So we've got your messages, we've got your emails, and we know that you guys are really interested in our release schedule and what's going on. We were pretty disappointed in the fact that we weren't able to go to E3 due to COVID-19 cancellations across the board. With obvious delays in manufacturing, you might be surprised to know that we've actually been cooking up some new goodies for you guys. We're gonna be releasing all of that on Seday's North America social medias, as well as taking some in-depth looks in coming Seday's TV episodes. That's stuff you're not going to want to miss, so keep your eyes peeled. All of that and more on coming episodes of Say Days TV. As always, I'm your host, Matt. It was a blast, and we'll see you next week.